Right Buddy here from Backroad Buddies of Red Tail Lodge. And the video we want to share with you today is about our experience in Mesa Verde National Park in mid-July. Now, um, we had come from Menka State Park and we actually camped three nights in the campground there at Mesa Verde, Moorfield Campground. And so we weren't coming from very far away and we got there pretty early but we stopped off at the visitor center first because uh, we had to buy our sticker <laughs> museum wasn't open but or the displays and film weren't open because of covid but we did get our sticker and we were a little disappointed to find out how much of the park was actually closed um, we knew that the guided tours were canceled because of covid but then almost all the hiking trails were closed except for about one and a half of them <laughs> uh, because of extreme fire danger. And then there was also Spruce Tree House, which normally you can do a self-guided tour of, was closed as well because um, the alcove that it sits in has become unstable. So there are plans to fix that, but it's going to be a while. And then the whole Witherall Mesa, which is kind of the furthest stretches from the entrance were also closed. And I believe that was also due to the extreme fire danger we're assuming because it would take so long to get out of there if they had to evacuate due to a wildfire. I mean, even to get to the, like the Cliff Palace and a lot of the cliff dwellings is about an hour's drive from the visitor center or park entrance. So it's and there's only one road in and out <laughs> so I can see why they were taking some extra precautions and so when we got there this was kind of our um, resupply and uh, laundry day so we actually didn't tour much of the park we kind of picked out our campsite took a shower did laundry but we did drive over to Farview Terrace to get some ice cream and that's about the only restaurant I believe that is open. Um, there's a cafe right at the campground, but it only serves breakfast. So then the first full day we actually drove out, they had a um, audio tour that you could download of Mesa Top Loop. And that was actually a nice drive because it kind of took you through the whole um, development of dwellings there over time. So, you know, it started out with pit houses and um, then the, you know, the Mesa top Pueblos before it actually went into the cliff dwelling. So it covered a time period. I'm not going to get the dates right now, <laughs> but um, I think it's like 700 AD all the way up to 1300 AD. So it was actually a nice little history to kind of see how the, the dwellings changed over time. And then we, um, went over and you can see Cliff Palace from a distance um, as well as Spruce Tree House and that kind of was the day for us and then the next full day we actually um, took hike the trails that we could which was um, the I forgot the name of the trail there's a Soda Canyon Trail I believe it's called and that's the one where you actually can go out and there's a viewpoint of the balcony house because you can't really see balcony house from the top. Um, so that was a nice little hike. And then we kind of hung out at the, a nice picnic area over near Spruce Tree House. And then we, in the afternoon we did another short hike. It's, it was just the upper part of the Petroglyph Point Trail. And it, only half the trail was open so uh, you go all the way out to the point and where you actually kind of descend down to where the petroglyphs are that was closed so you actually couldn't see the petroglyphs and um, so then on we kind of went around and took pictures again of the um, cliff dwellings that we could see and then uh, on the way back out we stopped at the Fairview sites which was actually quite interesting there's um, 
these were mesa top dwellings and there's also a, a really large water reservoir that they had built to store water so that was that was interesting and then um, we just called it a day and we saw some deer at the campground and then also as I was going to the restroom in the campground I got startled by a small little rattlesnake so that's in there and then the next day we left and as we were leaving we actually came across a schoolie from Iowa so called the Ragdus. so that's in there as well so that was kind of interesting so sit back relax and enjoy Mesa Verde National Park <laughs>
Thanks for watching. And if you want more details of our visit to Mesa Verde, there is a link in the description below to our related blog posts, so check that out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Ta-ta for now.